What's up guys? Welcome back sa ating channel. Again, this is your teacher, Sir Gaor. And this is our fourth lesson with regards to special product. Cube of a binomial. Okay, so siguro sanay na kayo sa ating channel. Kaya may nakaredy na kayong uh, pencil or ball pen and also paper. So, ang gagawin lang po ay isosolve lang yung mga nandyaan. Okay, so pag i-pause muna yung video, so pag play nyo, i-check na po natin. A few moments later. Time's up na po. So, let us check our answers. Siguro ang i-explain ko na lang dyan yung numbers 3 and 5 na lang. Kasi yung iba madali na lang naman. Okay, for number 3. Negative 4 cube. So, that is negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4. Tatlong negative signs, kaya negative pa rin siya. And then, 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. Kaya negative 64. For number 5, so negative 2. So, iko-cube natin yung bawat isa sa kanila. Iko-cube natin yung negative 2. Iko-cube natin yung 6. Yung x to the 6. Yung y to the 8. Z to the 9. So, i-distribute natin ang negative exponent. signs. Exponent. I-distribute so, ang exponent. Dito, dito, dito. Sa kanilang apat. Negative 2 cubed is negative 8. Kasi tatlong negative signs nga. And then, 6 times 3 is 18. 8 times 3 is 24. Then, 9 times 3 is 27. So, i-multiply po ang exponents. So, another type of special product is what we call the cube of A. Binomial. So, cube tayo, kaya it is now raised to the third power. So, ito yung magiging pattern, uh, format or pattern natin dyan. So, medyo mahaba siya. Apat na term sila. Okay? Baka nagtataka kayo kung saan ang galing yan, pero hindi na lang natin may explain masyado sa video. Ito yun. So, x plus y raised to the third. So, imumultiply natin sila ng tatlong beses. x plus y times x plus y times x plus y. Kapag itong dalawang to multiply ang lalabas dyan, x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. Then, multiply pa yung isa pang x plus y, eto na po yung lalabas. Okay? And then, for the minus naman, so x minus y cubed, so dalawang x, uh, x minus y times another x minus y, so we have x squared minus 2xy plus y squared. Tapos, multiply pa tong isa pang x minus y, so eto na po ang lalabas. So, medyo mahaba siya, pero... Um, kakabisaduhin lang naman yan. So, medyo madali lang siya makabisado. X cube yung harap, Y cube yung dulo. Or, cube ng first term, tapos cube ng uh, second term. Tapos, palagi 3, times yung square ng first term, tapos times yung second term. Nung sa pangalawa, 3, times yung first term, tapos yung second term naman ang naka-squared. Okay? So, ganun lang siya palagi. And then, kapag, so ano pala palatandaan naman natin sa sign? Sa sign, kapag plus to, puro plus lahat yan. Walang magiging minus. Kapag minus naman, yung nasa dito sa atin, pag minus siya, magiging alternating. Positive muna, tapos negative, tapos positive, tapos negative. So, yun siya. At ito po yung mga steps natin dyan. So, the same lang yan. Okay, so kung isusulat natin in two words, itong sinasabi ditong x cube na yan, nasa una, cube the first term. So, ikukube lang natin yung first term. And then, yung next one, yung 3x squared y, so pwede siyang isulat, na tries the product of the square of the first term and the second term. Square nung first term, tapos yung second term, tapos may times 3 pa. So, kaya siya pa ganito. Okay? And then, Sa third term natin, tries the product of the first term and the square of the second term. So, 3 times yung first term, tapos si second term naman ang naka-squared. Tapos sa dulo, so, square naman ni, or cube naman ni, second term. So, ganun lang siya. Uh, kadali, medyo mahaba lang pero wala na tayong magiging solution basta kabisado lang natin yung ating uh, format or pattern. So, before we go to our examples, oh, isa pa ulit tip para mas madali nating matandaan or observe natin yung pattern ng exponents ng variables. Kung papansinin natin, so, ito x cubed, tapos x squared, x to the first, tapos wala ng x. So, pababa ng pababa, yung exponent ng first term ng variables. Dito naman, sa second term naman tayo, so, wala pa yung y, 
Tapos nagkaroon na ng y to the first or y, y to the second, tapos y to the third. So pataas na pataas, pataas ng pataas naman yung exponents ng variable ni second term. So ganun lang. Okay, so punta tayo sa ating examples. x plus 5 or the quantity x plus 5 cubed. So sulat muna natin dito yung, yung pattern natin. Again, cube the first term. Cube the first term plus 3 times yung square ni first term. Si first term natin ay yung x. At yung second term natin ay 5. Yan. Ah, sunod ba? Okay, next. Plus 3 times yung first term. Tapos yung square naman ni second term. Ayan. 3 times yung first term, tapos yung square ni second term. And then, for the last term, i-cube natin yung second term. Ayan. So, nakaset up na siya. Nakaset up na yung ating uh, um, eka, polynomial. So, simplify na lang natin. So, hindi pa natatapos yan ha. So, kailangan isimplify natin. Pagkatapos iset up, tsaka na natin isisimplify. Okay. So, x cube is also x cube. So, for this one, 3 times 5. So, 3 times 5 is 15. So, 15. Tapos, yung variable natin, naka-squared. So, that is x squared. 15x squared. 3 times 5, 15. Tapos, yung x squared. 15x squared. For this one, evaluate natin to. 5 squared. So, 5 squared muna tayo. Ang 5 squared... So, ang lalabas dito ay 25. 5 squared is 25. Tama? 25 to, tapos times 3. So, 3 times 25 is 75. Tapos may x dun, so 75x plus 75x. Sana nasundan yun, no? In-square muna yung, ano, following PEMDAS rule, in-square muna natin yung 5. So, 5 squared is 25. 25 times 3 is 75. 75 times x is 75x. And then, 5 cubed. 5 cubed is 5 times 5 times 5, which is 125. So, yan yung ating answers. Okay? Next, let's go to number 2. So, set up lang ulit. So, isi-set up lang natin kung paano ito. Okay. So, cube the first term. By the way, ang first term natin ay 2. At ang second term natin ay negative 3y. So, cube the first term. So, 2 cube. So, yan. And then, plus muna tayo ha. Plus muna ang isusulat natin. Sa bandang dulo, palalabas yung alternating sign. So, dapat pagka-answer natin sa minus, sa dulong dulo, alternating ang magiging signs. Okay, pero habang sineset up natin, puro plus lang muna to. Okay, plus 3 times yung square ng first term. So, 3 times 2 squared. Tapos yung second term. Ang second term natin ay negative 3y times negative 3y. Ulitin natin. 3 times yung square ng first term times yung second term. Plus 3. So, parang ganito lang. Para sa next term, ito, parehas na parehas lang din ito. Ito lang squared na to, lalagay lang natin dito. Ulitin ko ha, para sa ganon, para hindi kayo masyadong malito, kopyahin nyo lang yan, pero yung exponent nya, ilipat nyo lang dito. Okay, sana malinaw yon So that is now times 2, times negative 3y, tapos sya naman ang naka-squared. O, di ba madali lang naman pala makuha? So, una ito naka-squared, tapos sa pangalawa, ito naman naka-squared. O, pangalawa pala to pangalawa, tapos sa pangatlo, kasi ito yung una natin. Okay, tapos... Plus, plus cube ng second term. Ang second term natin ay negative 3y. So, negative 3y cube. Ayan, nakaset up na siya. So, simplification na lang. So, we have now 2 cube. Ang 2 cube po ay 8. Okay, ito muna simplify natin. 2 squared. 2 squared ay 4. So, 4 ang lalabas dito. 4. So, bali, 3 times 4 is 12. 12 times negative 3. So, lalabas na rito ay 4 na, ha? 3 times 4 is 12. 12 times negative 3, that is 
Negative 36. Okay. Negative 36. Ang variable natin ay, so y lang. So, negative 36y. And then, for this one, ito, ano bang lalabas dito? So, ang lalabas dito ay, ang lalabas dito ay 9y squared. Magiging positive siya, tama? Negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. Y squared. So, 9y squared. Okay, so solve na natin. 3 times 2 is 6 times 9 is 54. So, positive na tayo kasi nag-positive 9-9 doon. So, positive 54. Tapos, y squared. Ulitin ko lang tong part na to ha. Negative 3y times another negative 3y, ang lalabas ay positive 9y squared. So, i-co-compute muna natin to following the PEMDAS rule. 9y squared. So, 9 times 6 is 54. Tapos, y squared to. Kaya, 54y squared. Anyway, mga counter check natin yan sa dulo, yung exponents. Okay, and then for the last one, tatlong negative 3. So, negative 3y cubed. So, negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 is negative 27y cubed. O, kaya nagkaroon tayo ng alternating na signs. Positive, negative, positive, negative. Check din natin yung mga exponents nila. Yung kanina, pababa yung x. So, x cubed, x squared, x, tapos wala na. Dito, yung y naman. So, wala tayong y. y to the first, y to the second, and y to the third. So, counter check palagi yung exponents, pati yung mga signs natin. Kasi doon minsan nagkakamali. Okay, so let's have a word problem for example number 3. As shown below, the edge of a cube is n minus 5 centimeters. Okay, the, question is, the questions are, what is its volume in terms of n? And what is its volume if n equals 11? Okay, so how do we solve the volume given the edge? Or the volume of a cube given the edge? So the volume of a cube, volume of, of a cube is equal to, okay, so that is equal to E cube or the cube of the edge. So ano ba yung edge natin? So that is X minus or N minus 5 centimeters. So, we have n minus 5. So, that is n minus 5 tapos cube. Okay. So, expand na lang natin. So, that will be that will be cube the first term n cube tapos plus 3 times yung square ni first term times yung second term na 5. Or sorry, that is negative 5. Negative 5. Okay? Tapos, anong sabi natin sa technique natin? Para do sa pangalawa, itong squared na yan, lilipat lang natin sa kabila. So, that is now plus 3 times yung first term na n, tapos yung second term na negative 5, so siya naman ang lalagyan natin ng squared. Okay? Tapos, plus yung second term ay naka-cube. So, yan, naka-set up na. Compute na lang natin. So, the last one will be, that's n cube. Okay, so we have negative 5 times positive 3. Negative 5 times positive 3 is negative 15. Negative 15, tapos n squared. And then, for this one, negative 5 squared, negative 5 times negative 5. This will be, so erase na natin yan. This is now 25. And 25 times 3 is, 75. So, 75N. So, positive 75N. And then, negative 5 cubed. So, that is now negative 5 times negative 5 times negative 5. That is negative 125. Ano nga uli yung unit natin? Centimeter. So, therefore, close in parenthesis. Tapos, centimeter. Dahil volume ang pinag-uusapan natin. So, it is raised to the third power. So, that is its volume in terms of n. Okay. For the follow-up question, if n equals 11, so, ano naman daw yung magiging volume niya? So, sa tingin nyo, saan mas madali? Kapag nag-substitute tayo dito, tapos, tsaka natin ikinub, or dito tayo magsasubstitute, tapos yun na yung final answer. Okay. So, mas madali po na dito na lang tayo, or 
mag-substitute na lang tayo dun sa edge, tapos saka natin siya i-cube. So, ang ma magiging labanan, so, dito ba tayo mag-substitute o dito na lang sa dulo? So, parang ang haba-haba na ito masyado. So, balik na lang tayo rito. So, therefore, so, ulitin natin. So, volume of a cube is equal to the cube of its edge. So, sabi natin, ang edge niya kanina ay n-5. So, n-5 cube. So, yan. Diyan na lang tayo mag-substitute kasi humaba na yun sa kanina. Eh, no? So, we have, ano nga yun? N equals, ano sabi? 11. So, N equals 11. So, 11 minus 5. Tapos, siya ay naka-cube. So, 11 minus 5 is 6. And then, cube. And 6 cube is 6 times 6 times 6. That is 216. So, 216 cubic centimeters. So, therefore, this is our answer. Okay? We go now to the last part of our video, which is the try this part. So, again, pause muna ang video at try muna ang sagutan nito. At pag, pag play nyo, check na tayo. Okay? Good luck! A few moments later. Time's up na po. You may now honestly check your answers. I hope you got a score of 5. Pero kung hindi man, pakireview nyo na lang yung answers nyo kung saan kayo nagkamali. And please do not forget to subscribe, like kung sa tingin yung natuto naman kayo, and you may also comment in the comment section below. I hope to see you again in our next videos. What's up guys?